Well, an eventful start for you in this FA Trophy tie, Ryan. Penalised for conceding a penalty, which said to Jerry, and he agreed, it was a very harsh decision. Yeah, I thought it was a foul against me, if anything. Um, I, I stopped and uh, hesitated a little bit, but stopped and literally just seen Joey still it right back, and I thought I'd just punch it to him, which I did. And then uh, the guys ran into me, thought the game was carrying on, and about five or six seconds later, he blew for a penalty. So, um, yeah, I think he knows he got it wrong. Um, even walking off at the end of the game, he, he said, well, did I get it right or wrong? And I just said, well... Though you might not have seen it how I did, but yeah, I thought it was a wrong decision. But fortunately, it's uh, you know it didn't cost us at the time, and um, yeah, we, we were still in the game then. It's the first penalty Concord have squandered this season, I believe, and a decent save for me. Yeah, I went a little bit early, um, but managed to um, stick a leg up. I think he was expecting me to go early and sort of put it mid height, but sort of not right in the corner, and you know between middle and corner, sort of so so to speak. So. Um, yeah, yeah, I've managed to stick a leg up. I, I thought I heard it hit the bar, and I thought, oh, it's probably gone in, but no, it went out, out wide, which was which was nice to see. And um, yeah, yeah, just uh, so we're in the game. It took us a little while to get going, but um, yeah, we uh, we went, weathered a few storms, but got our game going a little bit more towards the end of the second half. And uh, you know, it was just just a tough battle in the end. Tricky surface for the outfield players. It tricky for you as a goalkeeper as well. Things like back passes and so on. Yeah, it was a bit lively. It, you know, the pitch was flat. It had a bit of grass on it, but at the same time, pretty bobbly because it was quite firm. So, yeah, you've always uh, got to keep your concentration, sort of get your decision making right on clearances and stuff. But I thought we dealt with it quite well. Played when we could, and you know, at the end of the day, give them a give them a bit of credit. They they didn't let us get our game going too much, and uh, we didn't do the same to them. So. It's always a lot tougher when teams are in your faces, but um, yeah, we, we managed to get the ball down and settle a little bit. Uh, normally, we like to do that a bit more, but hopefully, it might be uh, a bit of a, a different game at home when we play them on Tuesday. Yeah, of course, it's another game on Tuesday, quite a hectic schedule. But Joey says obviously you prefer matches to training. I'm sure you yeah. agree with that as well. Yeah, yeah, it's always it's always nicer to play in, instead of training. Um, so yeah, it's it's a home game. We can look forward to it. Obviously, they've got to travel to us now. Um, we'll go into it positive. We're still on a good run. Come from behind again, not an ideal scenario, but um, it just goes to show, you know, that we we got this never say day, oh, never day say, <laughs> never say day, never say die attitude. Uh, yeah, that wasn't easy, was it? That was a Danny Ball, wasn't it? Um, yeah. So um, yeah, you know, we can't have our own way all the time. But the, you know, the fact is that if we have gone a goal behind, we we sort of keep to our game plan. We don't panic and. Um, you know, we, we stay in games and we've got results. It's captain of the team, is there anything which you're saying perhaps to help them turn it around? Obviously it was so quick today that perhaps you wouldn't have had time. No, no, I'm not having to say much. Um, you know, I, I just provide experience and, um, you know, help the young boys through, just keep keep the togetherness. The, the boys are doing on, the, all the talking on the pitch. We've got a great bunch of lads, great characters. Um, and, you know, that's a massive part of why a team does well, as well as all our footballing ability as well. So, yeah, nothing nothing much just for me to say the boys take care of it themselves. And, um, you know, I just got to make sure personally that I'm, I'm sort of chipping in as well and, you know, do, doing my part for the team. And they're great maintain interest still in the FA Trophy. Obviously, you'll be in the hat on Monday before Tuesday's during the competition. I think you got to the course finals for with Oxford. Uh, I can't remember actually going back I'll have to have a little look back but any cup runner do me I've never had a good cup run uh, so yeah listen any cup run is a good one you know for the club and the supporters uh, we've got to get through this game first and then just see what happens uh, see what happens after that and just one defeat in 18 as well it's the best run of form since you've been at the club and it's a uh, must be brilliant just to be behind all those great players in front of you yeah well look there's no worse feeling than when you're on a bad run and you know, you're losing every week. Unfortunately for us, you know, uh, the, guy, the manager's done a bit of tweaking earlier on in the season. I think we've got it right and we've took it upon us to to go on this run, all of us as players and management, because they give us all the information as well and, you know, they put us right for each game. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a great run to be on. Uh, we just got to uh, look forward now. Everything we've done is done. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's all about looking forward, getting getting each game as it comes along and just go literally going into each game and expecting to get three points because we're on such a good run at the moment and you know aim for the aim for the aim for the top